All right, hello everyone, my name is Jake, and today I'm gonna to be making a bed. We're gonna be making a queen-sized storage platform kind of bed, and we're gonna make it all out of plywood. So I'm in the barn today because <laughs> these sheets of plywood are way too big to fit in through my window into the basement or to get maneuver around the house. It's just easier to make the cuts here, and then I will bring all the cuts back inside and assemble it in the house. So I've got six sheets of three quarter inch sanded plywood. Uh, they're four foot by eight foot each and I did a, a 3D model and sketch up of this entire plan and I'm gonna put that link in the uh, description of the video here. So there's no real reason to be spending, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a pre-made bed where you can just make one yourself and you can design it exactly how you want it to be. So uh, I'm gonna put up the design now and I'll kind of run around it. So it's basically a queen size bed that's 60 inches by 80 inches long. There's gonna be drawers on either side for each person and there's gonna be a pull out platform to set things on. Just like, a, like it would be a regular nightstand but it's also, you can push it back in and save some space. So there's gonna be a lot of storage. And at the foot of the bed, there's also gonna be a kind of a section for our pets to sleep under. So we'll make them a little kind of cubby and uh, put some nice bedding down for them there. So six sheets of plywood uh, I chose because I optimized all of the cuts I would be making into those six sheets. So it originally started as like eight and I positioned each cut in CAD so that I could save as much space as possible and be the most efficient with my cuts. So we have the CAD model, we have all the plywood, we have everything we're gonna need to build the drawers. Let's get started, here we go. Oh, okay, so I was gonna try to finish all the cuts up today in the barn, but uh, it's really cold out here right now, as you can see. Uh, the temperature just dropped drastically from like 60 down to like 30. So I'm gonna take all this stuff into the shop now, since it's smaller, I can fit it into my basement, and I'm gonna finish up there, so. Okay, so I got mostly all of the plywood cut. I got all the drawers cut out according to my plans. We've got a big old pile of drawer bits there, so those are gonna be assembled into the uh, six drawers that are gonna be on either side of the bed. Now what we need to do is we need to take this big long uh, brace piece. There's gonna be six of them right over there. So there's gonna be six of those and those are gonna make kind of the internal structure and they're gonna be these half lap joints. So I need to cut out uh, eight inch notches on either side of them, kind of like what I have drawn here. So I'm gonna be cutting out these notches and then they're gonna to slide together and then I'm gonna join them with some angle brackets. So we're gonna make those cuts and then we're gonna start assembling everything together, cool?
All right, so I got those lap joints done. Uh, I kind of, you know, mocked it together right now with the support beam going through it. You can kind of see it's taking shape a little bit. Uh, so that's starting to work. We still have all those drawers over there to take care of, but um, next up, I'm gonna cut up some two by threes to uh, kind of do some support racing on the bottom, uh, kind of make everything nice and rigid and held together real strong. Okay, time to build some drawers. So we've got two sides, front and back, we've got a bottom piece. So lots of ways to make a drawer out of uh, your plywood, but you can do like dovetails, you can do pocket hole, joinery. Um, I'm just gonna do the, the basic simple version where it's just make a box and uh, put screws and wood glue and stuff on it. So um, should still be very secure. Um, but it's going to go a lot quicker. So let's get to that. I'm going to build one and then it's pretty much the same all the way through. Let's get started. So there's one drawer down, like five to go. So, uh, yeah, that's one. And, um, got them. Whew. So now I'm just gonna take up all the brackets and uh, the platform, top and bottom of the bed, all the drawers, and get everything put together in the bedroom. I'll have to install the drawer slides, but it's coming along. It's gonna take a coat of paint. I'm gonna get all this stuff up to the bedroom and start assembly. So let's get up there. Okay, so we've got most all the parts in the bedroom here. Uh, we've got a platform laid down and I screwed those together with some brackets just to kind of hold the two halves together. And then we're going to be supporting everything with these pieces of 2 by 3 in between each section of brace on the inside. So, uh, and then we have our end pieces on the head and foot of the bed as well. And then we're going to start putting our angle brackets in, these guys. Putting these angle brackets in um, inside each of the quarters and on the, to secure the braces to the bottom platform. Okay, so I've got all of the angle brackets, all of the uh, brace pieces very well secured in there. Um, it's very rigid, it's very heavy. So the next thing I'm gonna do is build out this cubby section uh, right here. Okay, so the cubby is gonna be made up on one side of two pieces of plywood. I'm gonna glue them and kind of screw them together. But this piece here has a notch cut out of it and that's gonna be another 2x3 that's going to span the length of the cubby uh, 
uh, the width of the bed basically and that's going to be kind of a support beam for the foot of the bed. So I'm going to put these two together, there's two more on the left side and then these are going to basically just be the, the foot It's going to sit right here on the bed. Just like that and the beam's going to run across. Cool? Let's do it. Okay, so that's going to do it for now. Uh, we have the basically the main structure built, ready to go. Uh, I still need to install the drawer slides and put the drawers themselves in and then lay the platform over top of it to finish the bed. So I got the drawers installed and uh, they seem to work pretty well. Uh, I just got the cheapest drawer slides I can find from the hardware store. They were like six bucks a piece. Uh, and then you just follow the instructions in the packaging to get them installed and you got to make sure they're level. So in this plywood, there was uh, some warping that went on, and uh, you can, you know, if you look at it real close, you can kind of see it's a little bit all over the place, and that's just me trying to account for the the bends in the board. Now the next thing to do is going to be to put on the uh, faces of the drawers. So that's going to be these kind of bigger uh, pieces of plywood that are going to go over the drawer like that. See what I mean by kind of the walkiness of the drawers? The, the face just kind of helps to minimize the aesthetic uh, impact of that. Drawers work fine. They could be better. I'm not, a, I'm not an experienced... Uh, this is the first time I've ever done something with drawers. It didn't turn out perfectly. It could probably be better. Uh, but I am happy with it. So if you're making your own bed, Obviously you can get a lot more detail into sanding and routing the edges and uh, making it look very professional and very nice looking. Um, it's going to take some more time and more effort obviously. I just happen to like this rough look. Um, we're going to paint it white and I think that looks really nice for some reason. <laughs> um, conveniently saves me a lot of time and labor but um, I, I would prefer this look over something that looks like it came out of a factory or out of a store. Um, and that's just kind of how I like things to look. So that's what we're going with. But when you make your own, feel free to do uh, however much effort you want with the sanding and the routing and the clean edges and whatnot. Okay, so I kind of changed my mind on the design of the bed. So originally I was just gonna have it be the platform and put up against the wall, but uh, my wife and I were talking, we decided we wanted a headboard. So I went ahead and I got some of these one by tens, uh, these big long pieces. I'm gonna cut those down into sort of a bookcase headboard kind of deal with some shelves on it. Um, nothing too fancy, very simple, very quick to do. And it's just gonna uh, add some dimension to the bed and give us some more storage up in the back for our laptops and night things. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that really quick and then we're gonna get the bed put all together.
So, got the pieces all cut out. I'm gonna probably assemble it down here and I can probably just carry it back upstairs. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So there we have it. Here. Got a couple little shelving areas, a uh, little kind of media platform, and then this nice headboard right there. I am gonna drill a couple holes on the sides for uh, power outlets. Just like that. And uh, now it's done. It needs a coat of paint, and it needs to be attached to the bed, but uh, that's gonna do it. Let's get it upstairs. talk about the face it's just gonna be this this piece of plywood that like covers up this little piece here so um, that's what that's gonna do and it's gonna there's gonna be a drawer pull right here on the platform so you can just grab it and pull it out while you're in bed like a nice cool little nightstand area cool do the other one and then I'll put the face on and uh, next time you see it it's gonna have the the top platforms on so it's, it's so close. So I came home from work today and my wife had painted the whole bed white. So I didn't want to mess the paint and do all that. So she went ahead and did it and I'm so grateful to her. <laughs> so all I have left to do is to put the drawer pulls, the, the drawer pulls onto each of the drawers. So we got different drawer pulls for each drawer from a Habitat for Humanity Restore. If you're ever looking for building materials, uh, be sure to check out a local Habitat for Humanity Restore. Uh, they have a lot of great stuff, very cheap, and you're helping out a great cause when you do so. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get these put on. Very excited. It's, it's so close. I'm so thankful to my wife for doing that. Look how good that white looks. That really whew, makes it work. Okay, so for this pull-out nightstand, obviously there's there's nothing for it to for a bolt to come through and get into the threads. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is take this handle and drill a small hole, just a little bit smaller than the diameter of that thread there, than this diameter here, and that way I can 
put some glue in that hole and then hammer this in and it'll hold it really tight and so long as you don't pull on it really hard it shouldn't come out. So that's the plan. Wow, okay, so that was a lot of work. Six sheets of plywood, another couple of little sheets of uh, 1x10s for the headboard, a bunch of drawers, a little space for the uh, dogs to lay down. Check out this cool little cushion my wife found to put in there for the pets to sleep in. Oh my gosh, a lot of work. This thing's heavy, it's never going anywhere. Yeah, let's do a little bit of B-roll. Okay, so that is gonna do it for this project. Thanks for sticking with me, for getting through all this with me. This video was brought to you by Casper Mattresses. Um, they, I'm just kidding, this was not brought to you by Casper Mattresses. You know I'm gonna make my own mattress. Let's get to that. So this is uh, our mattress, or it will be our mattress. So I placed an order with uh, foambymail.com. And what they provide is, uh, they provide layers of foam cut to the dimensions you want. So we wanted a queen, uh, queen size dimension bed, and we wanted uh, five inches of a firm supporting foam, three inches of a kind of a soft gel foam in the middle, and then two inches of a supportive latex breathable foam on top. So that leads to a 10 inch mattress total. And then I got like a 10 inch mattress cover uh, that everything zips into. So that's what you do. You basically just stack the layers up how you want them. Um, you can completely customize whatever kind of mattress you want. Um, this is basically based off of like a Tempur-Pedic or um, a Lisa or a Casper kind of mattress. But it was a lot cheaper to do it yourself. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to get this thing tore down and wrap it up and just throw it on the bed. And uh, that's, that's how you DIY a mattress, guys. Okay, Okay. so unpackaging it can be a bit precarious, but um, you need to let it off gas for like 24 to 48 hours uh, just to make sure that any of the chemical they use to build the foam has completely escaped from the foam so when you're sleeping on it, you're not breathing that stuff in. Um, This company does use all like green materials, or non, they use all non-toxic materials. So it is probably safe, I'm just gonna let it, let this smell. There's a slight odor to it, so just let it off gas for a couple days and then be good to go. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this bed build. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I try to do a lot of different things, different projects, different skills, different ideas, things that just intrigue me, <laughs> taking stuff apart, uh, making or breaking or, you know, all sorts of things. So feel free to subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you made this bed, if you made one of your own, please uh, leave a comment, let me know how it goes, feel free to ask questions and all that. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Come check it out.
What do you think? <laughs> you like it? It's like firm and springy. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel this? No. No? That's awesome. Uh-uh. Holy crap, like I'm like a, up. I'm like, like on a foam island right now. <laughs> it's so nice. We got like this nice like grid pattern, like this latex is supposed to be really breathable and cool. Oh. So you're not going to overheat because it's foam, like it's not going to trap your heat. I can't sleep unless I'm well below normal body temperature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we keep it at like 60 in our bedroom. So we can cuddle. McLean! Fly! <laughs> just, like, She's so confused. Keep sticking in different heads. <laughs> It's a workout getting that thing unpackaged, and it like as soon as you cut it open, all this air rushes in, and it's like. <laughs> I heard it. You could hear it like. <sighs> I'm so glad that our room's bigger than this room. Yeah, I'm just letting it off gas in here. I would kill you in this room. <laughs> I think I'd kill me in this room too. <laughs> Moxie, another one.